today we are going to um, have a seminar on Middle East education and job fair 2020. And I want to thank a few people to make this um, even possible. And uh, they, these are my sweet panelists, uh, the technical team, Berkeley Middle East Holding in Middle East, uh, Berkeley Me Global in UK, Berkeley California in US, and training and consultancy divisions. They really work hard uh, to bring all this content and the people on board uh, so they can explain all this beautiful uh, information to the candidates. Uh, there are professionals who are in finance, they are working in banks, they are working in financial institutions, and they are looking for um, an upgrade job in Gulf because Gulf pays you more, better life, better facilities, a nice uh, multinational culture, and an amazing lifestyle. So uh, if you really want to know that what is the best qualification in finance uh, it will be a good sign so let me introduce you with our next guest uh, muhammad usman welcome on uh, the show live with musa sheikh how are you doing today thank you alhamdulillah alhamdulillah i'm, I'm well That's thank good. you so much for the kind words Thank you very much for coming uh, in the show. And this show is uh, for the audience. Um, it is, uh, you can say, it it is uh, a sort of charity that when you uh, guide uh, the upcoming people and they get a better job, a better qualification. Mm. And this is all as we know that you are doing in good faith um, uh, and uh, in the well-wishing of the people. So we will start formally with your introduction. Can you please introduce yourself for the audience and then we will move forward. Okay, so um, I mean, I am an investment professional. Uh, I've been working in finance for about seven years now. Um, I am CFA, CFA chart holder for the last three, four years. I did my CFA level three, all my, I passed all my level of CFA exams in 2013, August. And uh, then you know, after uh, you complete the requirements of the work experience, I got my charter in 2016. Uh, I've been uh, working in credit and investment and investment is mostly um, alternatives. So this is my professional journey so far. Uh, and interestingly, uh, the panel that I've been um, associated now to talk about is Kaya. And uh, after having CFA and uh, work in the industry for about you know good four or five years, um, I came across Dr. Musa one day. We've been acquaintance for a while now, uh, by then actually. And uh, first time I think we met in 2015. Um, and Dr. Musa advised me that you know there is. Uh, CAIA, you want to be uh, interested to look at the curriculum, maybe you like it and uh, this might be some some interest to you. And I, when I looked at the uh, Kaya Association website and I went through the curriculum and I you know, looked at the exam format, I, I really liked it. And uh, with Dr. Musa's guidance and help, uh, I enrolled for it and he helped me, you know, got all the um, registration and, and all the formalities and uh, with his guidance and with uh, you know a lot of hard work I was able to bag another charter last year so I'm a CAIA chart holder as well which is called uh, Kaya charter so this is me Dr. Musa. Um, I always feel that uh, sometimes people are over qualified or sometimes they are under qualified, but the balance is always very important. For example, like uh, uh, in last couple of years, uh, this alternative investment has increased uh, because traditional banking tools are exhausted, too much compliance 
and um, uh, and you are ending up your money with 1.5%, 1.9%. This is really, really a low returns on investment. So people are looking for, I mean, high, C, uh, I'm not saying that uh, this is not a good product, but obviously there are three type of investor attitudes. Uh, there are aggressive investor, there are conservative investor, and there are moderate investors. So for, okay, for conservative investor, uh, banking, products are fine but for aggressive investor who really want to take a risk and want a higher return they need something like uh, an alternative investment and that's create an opportunity for a professional like alternative investment analyst so in my last trip to united states i I come across this qualification and they were not in Gulf that time. So I told them, look, you know, Gulf is also like Dubai is a financial place, Riyadh is a capital market. So why don't you focus on that? So I actually introduced Kaya in the um, Middle East and I think Berkeley is the remain the sole uh, uh, learning partner for them still now and uh, the way they promoted this qualification is phenomenal and the way you did this qualification is also very phenomenal so for those people who are listening to this qualification first time um, can you please give them a bit introduction about this mainly in about uh, course content and in terms of um, uh, uh, the pre criterions that they should have okay so this is um, again um, a level based uh, uh, you know qualification just like uh, cfa or other such uh, finance um, certificates and charters it has two levels uh, level 1 deals with the you know introductory basic stuff uh, it's not basic but it's basic in the context of kaya curriculum of level 2 so i mean people who have some uh, investment experience or they understand investment products how the investment analysis and investment products work in the traditional context which is um, equities and uh, fixed income um, they would find they would find it hard to really analyze and um, see the um, you know investment characteristics of alternatives which are which are a different beast altogether because in traditional um, investments you have a lot of literature you have a lot of um, market research going on you have so many analysts so many um, companies following uh, those public companies and, and analyst job become uh, much easier i mean i wouldn't discount the uh, importance of their role but then those skills are not applicable when you move to a more unstructured um, um, alternative investment uh, market. So this is where I think Kaya is extremely important. Even here in Gulf, I, I, I've been a CFA charter uh, all pretty much all my time when I was here in UAE. Uh, but I thought Kaya is more relevant in UAE than um, CFA. I'm, again, I'm saying that very uh, loosely, of course. Uh, CFA is much broader. It has uh, um, you know, so many different areas which are covered, but um, Kaya is more focused on alternatives. So the areas which are particularly of interest and that I, I really liked um, here in um, in the Kaya curriculum were the uh, private equity, real estate, uh, the family office, uh, sovereign funds. Uh, so these were the areas which really uh, which which were really relevant, and I I, I think. They are incredibly uh, relevant, especially in, in this market, UAE, and across the region uh, for that matter. The exam format, again, uh, as I just mentioned, it's two levels. Level one is introductory. I will just uh, share with you some screen, uh, my screen where you can see slides, and I think it will be more helpful. Okay, so pardon me, I'll just have to do a bit of technical thing here. Okay. 
I don't know if my screen is visible or not. Lovely. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I got it. I share I'm extremely sorry for this hiccup, but I think we are good now. Okay, so <clears throat> the Kaya Association they they established in 20, 2002. Uh, they've been uh, growing pretty steadily over the last uh, 18, 20 years. Uh, now they are I think, in, in more than uh, 100 countries now. They conduct exams and they have a huge uh, network of uh, Kaya charter holders. The main, um, the tenant and main the premise of Kaya Association is to promote alternatives. And they have been, uh, they have been able to do it uh, quite successfully for, for, for so many years. And I think the main idea that they took up was from the endowment, uh, endowment model of uh, Wales University. And uh, which which says basically, uh, which was a huge move in in nineteen uh, eighties when um, they introduced uh, endowment model where um, the more traditional investments were moved to alternatives and and that really paid off and that was a huge risky move at the time but then it proved uh, quite successful and now it's a role model for for, for the world. Uh, who is it for and what are the um, requirements to get a Kaya charter. So if you have a bachelor's degree or um, and one year experience, or if you have four years of experience, you are qualified to register for the for the charter and uh, sit for the exam. Pass two levels and um, there you go, you got your charter. Uh, two levels left, I mean, uh, essentially the, the spirit of the content in, in both levels is pretty much the same. Um, level one is, uh, level level two builds on level one, plus it adds some uh, additional areas like um, uh, integrated topics. Now integrated topics is, is particularly very interesting area which they add to, uh, to the level one uh, areas. This is basically not a book, this is uh, a selection of research papers that they add every in exam window. So every year, every exam window, um, they they change a little bit these integrated topics. So they might be same topics or they, they, they might add additional topics which are more relevant. For example, if they feel the blockchain or, or these kind of more you know technological based AI stuff is relevant, they would add that. And, and it's quite interesting to be uh, up, you know, stay updated with the latest trends in, in, in the investment profession. Um, so, so I mean, there are overlapping areas, and as I said, you know, same um, areas go more advanced in level two. So you have uh, ethics, uh, which is the same uh, professionals of uh, standards and professional uh, standards and ethics which are in CFA. So they have adopted the same ethics because CFA ethical standards are um, they are the gold standard. So they did not you know, reinvent the wheel. So they have adopted the same. Um, then you have uh, real estate, you have hedge funds, you have uh, private equity, you have structured products, uh, portfolio management, um, and uh, uh, asset allocation and level two comes in. The exam format in, C in, in Kaya level one, you have 200 multiple choice questions. It's a four hours exam again. Um, but yeah, it's four hours, CFA is six hours. So you know, four, in four hours, it is done in two sittings and we have a 30 minutes break um, that, that's optional. I mean, if, you, if the candidates want it, they get it. If they don't want, they can continue writing the exam and complete in four hours. Um, it's all uh, MCQ based level one, but in level two, it's MCQs. Um, one session is MCQs, 100 multiple choice questions. And, and the second session is constructed response or essay type questions. 
just like the CF level three. So basically you have a um, situation and you have been asked to provide a solution and then you come up with your own solution in your own work in your own style, uh, which is a subjective uh, way of answering a question. Um, the exams are proctored online, so you don't have to go to any, uh, you know, just like in, in CFA, I think they also have moved now to uh, computer-based exams, but this is, um, Kaya is pioneer in uh, computer-based exams, so you just go to their um, accredited centers and uh, you would, you know, you would be sit in a cabin and you would just write the exam on computer. So this was a new experience for me and I really, I really liked it because you have so much options, so many options, so much, um, um, plus it, another flexibility that uh, Kaya exam uh, gives is the, the date that you can choose in a given window. So they have about two weeks uh, exam window in March and in September. So you can choose whichever date in that window you find suitable. You want weekdays, you want uh, weekends, you want, um, morning time you want evening time so it's pretty flexible on that front now the cost wise exam registration is about 11 12 50 dollars standard and if you go early you save 100 dollars and it's 11 50 uh, and uh, the enrollment fee is one time fee which is 400 dollars uh, same for early or standard and you have to pay only for level one when you enroll in kaya chart and um, all the research that you do you have to pay the exam fee only and um, about the exam conduct I as I just told you they have accredited uh, they have partners uh, partnered with the Pearson um, VUE test centers across the globe uh, they have many test centers in almost every major country um, so it's, it's pretty flexible, uh, just like CFA, but um, a bit more flexible than CFA. Um, that's all. That's all, Dr. Musa. Uh, back to you. Tell me. Oh, yes, that's. Uh, I think it's a very insightful um, presentation from your side. And uh, I want to ask that um, you were already a CFA chartered holder mm -hmm. when you opt for this qualification. Mm -hmm. So I want to know that does this qualification add some professional skills? Do you feel that you are more aware and uh, like uh, specialized in invest alternative investment than before? Absolutely. That's a very good question, Dr. Musa. Um, well, you would understand you've been teaching CFA and all sorts of professional uh, certifications and qualifications for such a long time. Um, you know, CFA is a very broad program and it covers everything you can imagine in investment industry. Uh, but Kaya, it, it is, you know, when you become a doctor, MBBS, right? So you have uh, studied the the whole anatomy of human body and you have understood everything. So many things you have learned over the four or five years that you studied uh, medicine. But then you become specialist in one area, right? You are mm -hmm. ENT specialist or you are um, skin specialist, you are you know, a heart specialist, you know, a neurosurgeon. So I think Kaya is is relatable to that analogy. So basically, CFA makes you a doctor, and Kaya makes you a specialist. In oh, that's that's so the in, most beautiful uh, 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 caption you have ever given to this qualification. That um, after a, a qualification, this is a specialization, and especially if you see the structure is really interesting. That they talk about hedge fund, mutual funds, which is like high risk depending on the fund manager strategy if the fund manager is good then means uh, all is good and if the fund manager is bad the fund will go mm. also bad and Absolutely. it's all performance based so a person always can have opportunity to be a fund manager and being a fund manager is really a great job and i saw lot of even uh, chartered accountants and other or finance professional after 20 25 years mm at least once in their life they definitely try to be a fund manager this is my observation yeah. and yeah. this qualification is so uh, practical and interned in terms of private equity mutual funds restructuring structuring 
because yes. now every time based on the customer structuring has become really important and secondly this islamic structuring for islamic uh, consumers that they are religiously motivated and they are looking to some sukuk options mean bond options and uh, some kind of ijari mudaraba musharaka these all options through alternative is an amazing yeah. so I, I i want to thank you for being in this um, uh, show and uh, give a great insight to the audience i will ask you for a closing remarks to, uh, by giving a uh, motivation to the upcoming candidates that why they should consider kaya well i think uh, you don't have to take the journey that i took like group cfa and then kaya this is um, a certification a charter you know which you can take um, with the if you meet the requirements as i as i earlier described in the presentation so one year experience plus uh, bachelor's which is not a lot to ask um everybody you know is bachelor's whoever is listening to this podcast i i imagine um but i think this is if you are planning to make a career in gulf in in, in gulf region or middle east at large this is an extremely um important qualification to have because you will be you will probably not be working with the traditional investments in this industry you will be most likely working with uh, alternatives which is real estate which is private equity which is uh, family office you know you know that family office how big yeah, the market uh, here is so trillion of dollars you have to put in absolutely. alternative investment so it's a yes. really amazing qualification and and sovereign uh, sovereign funds and you have uh, commodities you know so um this is extremely this is i think this is this is going to have a, a really important role in future in this region and it's going its popularity is going even um, mm. you know before i joined uh, and enrolled for kaya i did not imagine that it's going at such a fast pace you know um, i saw so the I would latest highly recommend statistics mm. uh, recently i saw the latest statistics that how it is growing and you will be surprised in china in australia all the financial capitals they are 100% moved on kaya qualification chartered alternative investment analyst and i think you are one of the pioneers and uh, the lucky is to got it uh, uh, well before and i'm sure that after 5 years you will be prouding on this uh, achievement so, so oh, i thank you very much for being here